Marcus Leslie, the six-figure waiter, uh, wanted to share something that's on my mind. That is knowing when you're in a situation where you're not going to win point with the guest, okay? You're not going to win an argument. By that, I mean one of our bartenders was behind the bar, and we have those um, stop the pourers that stop with little balls in them. So this bartender happened to pour, and pretty much exactly the pour came out, and it stopped. She brought the drink over to the guest that ordered it, and he declined it. He said, no, thank you. I don't want that one. You short poured it. So what <laughs> What are you gonna do now, okay? You have done your proper procedure, you actually had the proper pour, but the guest perception was that you got that they were short poured. So what do you do at that point, okay? You can't win, policy was followed, proper procedure. You know, what can you say? Oh, well no, because we have these pours and now you're just making like excuses. The guest is unimpressed at this point, and you're best to cut your losses and move on. You know, sir, yeah. Can I get your beer? <laughs> Something that either will just get their minds off it, get them to move on, help them to just relax and forget about it, if it's possible. Maybe at some point later on in the evening, the guests will come around and you'll gel, you'll get a good chemistry with them. But in the meantime, don't belabor the point, don't harp on it, don't try to explain and don't try to defend. Just Accept, recognize and accept that this is something, no matter what, even if you followed proper procedure and policy, you are not going to win this one. So cut your losses, move on, and then just try your best to continue to make a connection. Hope you can use that tip in the future sometime. In the meantime, keep selling.